Kia Harder is joining me today from Synergy Credit Union. Kia is an account manager there. And we're going to be talking about Christmas shopping. Yes. So big question is, are you done your Christmas shopping? <laughs> that is like the million dollar question right now. <laughs> uh, I'm almost done. I took ad advantage of um, a lot of the Cyber Monday, Black Friday mm -hmm. deals. I find a lot of the stores these days are extending it into the week prior and even going into the week afterwards. So yeah. I did some crowd avoiding and, <laughs> and uh, did it all on the computer this year. So almost done. How about you? So, so uh, well, yeah, I kind of <laughs> did the same thing, but I, December snuck up really, really quickly. Very so quickly, yes. yeah. It'll be a weekend, I think, of finishing things Absolutely. off. But I'm ahead of last year. So Perfect. why do you think it is, though, that people leave it to the last minute? Is it just time gets past them? You know, I just had an article come across my desk that said uh, one third of Canadians find this time of year more stressful than they did even five years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's already a, a stressful time of year, never mind with the extra financial stresses that you have, the crowds, the extra company coming over. So um, I think it's just something that's easy to put off. You can make an excuse that you've got all these other things to do instead of doing that. So. Right. Uh, what are the concerns though with leaving it to the, to the last minute? Well, I think if you're in a rush or in a pinch to get things done, um, we tend to not use our common sense as much. Mm -hmm. So even just in these last couple of weeks, I've noticed uh, an influx of spam coming into my inbox. So if I'm in a pinch to get that last name crossed off my list, I might be more likely to click on something that um, I normally wouldn't, which mm -hmm. could be dangerous. Right, and also too, like you said, if you're running around last minute, you may buy things that are more expensive because you haven't had yep. time time to look at them. For so, sure. um, what's your advice to somebody who's just starting now and or has you know everything basically left to do for on right. their shopping list? Yeah, make a list um, when you leave your house. Have a, a good idea of what you're going out to purchase. Whether it's your grocery list, I know I spend much less. Um, if I go to the grocery store with a list rather than just throwing things into the cart willy nilly. Um, know who you're buying for so uh, you're more likely to um, not spend the money spend the money on that big mm -hmm. ticket item um, if you know who you're buying for now what about people who just kind of throw in the towel and say here I'm just gonna buy gift cards for everybody right and, and you know you might think it's a little bit impersonal but is it, is it still a good way to go you know what and gift cards aren't a bad idea to give as a gift or even to use for budgeting buy them throughout the year and use it um, use those to do your Christmas shopping easier mm -hmm. to stick on budget there I'm one of those people that doesn't like to give gift cards, but um, last year uh, you can only buy so many Lego sets for right. the nephews. So right. last year I got them gift cards and I actually just DIY'd some slime and put it in a mason jar and put mm -hmm. the gift card in that. And it made it more of an experience for them right. to open rather than just getting a Christmas card and, and having a, a gift card in it. So getting a little bit creative then is, yeah, is the key for something like yeah. that. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, and we'll be back next hour. Again, continue more about Christmas shopping and about the deaths that you can possibly occur when you leave it to the last minute. Perfect.